Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CrNO3 3 plus Na2S, chromium 3 nitrate, and sodium sulfide. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This right here is the molecular equation. And why don't we start with the chromiums? We have one here and two here. So we're going to put a two in front of the chromium 3 nitrate. Now we have three of these nitrates times two. We have six of them. So we need to put a six over here. That balances the nitrates. We have six sodiums. Let's put a three here. Sodiums are balanced. Three sulfur atoms, three sulfur atoms. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So if you know your solubility rules, compounds with the nitrate ion, they're very soluble. Compounds with the sodium ion are very soluble. In general, sulfides are insoluble. And this chromium-3 sulfide right here, this is insoluble. So it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. This is a precipitation reaction, double displacement reaction. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note that we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So this chromium-3 sulfide, we kept that together. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. I can see here in the reactants, I have six of these nitrate ions. In the products, I have six nitrate ions. Let's get rid of those six sodium ions in the reactants, and again in the products. These are spectator ions. We cross them out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for CrNO3-3 plus Na2S. I'll clean this up, put the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for chromium-3 nitrate and sodium sulfide. You'll note charge is conserved. We have 2 times 3 plus, so we have a 6 plus, 3 times 2 minus, 6 minus. So this all over here gives us a net charge of 0. This is a neutral compound, net charge of 0. Charge is conserved, and the atoms are balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for chromium-3 nitrate plus sodium sulfide. Thanks for watching.